So guys, Jason, all up in your grill. Another Wicked Wednesday here on the House of Horror. Today I'm obviously doing Candyman. Now, uh, awesome film. This, I, I should have reviewed this earlier. One of my favorites, directed by uh, Bernard Rose. Uh, written by Clive Barker, of course. Uh, stars Virginia Madsen and Tony Todd. And Tony Todd's awesome. Yeah. I want to meet him one day. But uh, anyway, awesome, awesome film. Uh, came out in 1992. Uh, the basic plot of this film, Virginia, or uh, her name is Helen in the movie. Helen is a young lady, and, and her and a friend of hers are doing a thesis project for the University of Illinois. And they're, they're doing it on, like, uh, local legends, urban legends. And they hear about this one of Candyman. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, you eventually learn the origin of Candyman. Candyman was, uh, he was the son of slaves. And he, he got this, uh, the daughter of, like, an aristocrat pregnant, I believe. So he's an African-American guy. And... She was, of course, a white girl, and, you know, back in those days, that, that, that's, I guess that's how they handle things like that, but, um, like, a vigilante justice or whatever, but they, what they do to this guy, they, they first they cut off his, uh, cut off his hand, and then they take a bunch of beehives, and they break the beehives on him, and then they set him on fire, and of course he dies, but, uh, the legend has it that if you say his name five times in the mirror, he'll come back and kill you. Never done it. Never had the guts to do it. But uh, really, really cool. Uh, yeah, that's the legend. And basically, Helen gets gets obsessed with this idea of Candyman. She gets deeper and deeper into the legend and learns more and more about it. Stuff tar stuff starts happening. And if she gets more obsessed with it, uh, you don't really know if she's going crazy or if she's actually seeing Candyman, but people around her are starting to die. And as time goes on, she's being framed for these murders. Candyman's killing these people, and she's being framed for it. She eventually goes to prison for it, or uh, goes to jail for for killing someone. Uh, Maybe her husband. Uh, but eventually she goes to, to jail. And... Uh, End of the film is really, really cool. Really, really interesting. This is a different type of film, which is, I think, why I loved it so much. Um, <clears throat> but Tony Todd is just awesome, awesome actor. First time I ever saw him in anything, and he has a very uh, memorable performance. You know, uh, he has the, he just fits that that so perfectly. Um, just awesome movie. If you haven't seen Candyman, go get it and watch it. Seriously. But came out in 1992. I was like 11. I saw this in the theater. And a funny story. Uh, my parents were out of town. My brother and his then girlfriend. Uh, it's his wife now. But <clears throat> we all went. And uh, there was somebody else with us. But we went and saw it. It was the, the late show. Like 10 o'clock at night. We watched this movie. And then we went and had dinner somewhere. And I remember it at, at dinner, like, I was so afraid to go into the bathroom. This is a public place. <clears throat> I was really, really afraid to go to the bathroom, you know, because I thought Candyman was going to be in there. I mean, not, you know, I was just scared. It was just, uh, it, it just the film really moved me. And I was, you know, I didn't tell anybody about it, but I, but I was scared. Uh, that's what I wanted out of the film, and I got it. But pretty funny story, I I still tell that to folks these days. Uh, Candyman kind of kind of messed me up for a little bit, but you know, probably similar to uh, Bloody Mary. Maybe some of you have, have, have heard of the Bloody Mary legend. You know, you say her name five times in the mirror or whatever. It's similar to that idea, but uh, Candyman has a hook, has a hook on his hand. You know, he got his hand cut off. That's his main weapon of choice. And awesome gore effects. Awesome, awesome acting, everything. Great. Superb film. I definitely recommend picking it up. But, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Not really much more I can say about this one. I'm not going to spoil anything that I haven't already done. So, 
But uh, anyway, guys, have a good one. Thanks for watching. Take care.